Hi. For those of you who I haven't met, my name is Gary Gervais. I'm the owner of Heartland International English School. It's hard to believe it's only six weeks ago since the uh, COVID crisis forced us to close the building and move our classes online. So much has happened since then. Uh, but everyone is coping really well and uh, doing the best they can. We've had an amazing staff um, that transitioned us into online learning and we're our new normal, even though, like I said, it's only six weeks, um, seems like routine now. Uh, but we continue to learn, continue to improve as we go through this uh, online learning experience. Uh, we know that this is difficult for students as well, and we want to thank every student for doing the best they can to adapting to this environment and coming on this journey with us. So for that, we are very thankful and grateful. Um, we've heard from uh, the province of Manitoba and Canada in general that we're starting now to move back to businesses opening. And so I just wanted to talk to you today a little bit about that. Uh, the, although we don't know exactly when we'll be going back to physical classrooms, uh, we're starting to see what that might look like and we're starting to plan for that. I can tell you that for sure we will be staying online until at least the end of this term. Um, and so that's our time frame right now. And over the next couple of weeks, as we learn more and see how other businesses are opening, uh, we'll start to communicate what the return to classrooms will look like and continued online because likely we'll be also continuing our online learning experience. Um, as always through this, our goal remains the same. We're, our mission is to help you learn English. And although we've had to adapt to the online model, we've been creative and innovative in trying to provide you the different experiences and making sure that the quality of the outcomes, that is you learning English, stays the same. And so as we transition back into the classrooms and also continue our online, that remains our number one priority. So rest assured that quality of the learning experience and your language outcomes remain our uh, priority. If at any time you need anything, as always, please reach out to us, or, uh, teachers or staff, so that we can make sure that your needs are being met and we address any concerns that you have. Um, so again, we're here to help as always. It's a, It's been a difficult and trying time, but uh, you know, very emotional, very um, new for everyone, and we've just appreciated so much everyone's efforts and uh, the wonderful job that everyone's done through all of this. And the good thing is we've learned a lot. You know, we're a learning organization, and this has forced us into learning about many, many different aspects of how we deliver classes, what online looking looks like how we run the business um, with this new reality and we continue to learn and innovate and we look forward we'll bring some of those new things to have even better delivery of services and delivery of language lessons uh, into the future because we've actually learned a lot about how we teach and what it means to deliver good outcomes of course being in the classroom is uh, and you know out and about in Winnipeg and in the community is a big part of what we do and we've been missing that and we look forward to getting back to that and welcome you being back into the school um, while we make this transition so um, as we're excited about uh, how things move forward um, we're also being very cautious because as always safety is the number one concern and we want to make sure that you feel safe that you are safe, that our staff are safe. So through all of this, uh, that will remain our number one concern in uh, whatever decisions we make in the weeks ahead. So again, if you do have uh, any questions, concerns, problems, um, the lines of communication are always open for you to talk to teachers, to staff, to contact me directly, um, whoever you need to talk to, um, and whatever or however big or small that concern may be. So uh, as we move forward through this, we'll uh, let you know how this is going to work. Like I say, we're developing it day by day, depending how things work out. So 
please, uh, as you have, have patience with us and we'll do our best to make sure you understand what's happening as we move through this. So we look forward to, spring is here. Um, we'd all love to get outside and enjoy the nice weather. So our goal, like yours, is to get through this uh, as quick as possible, but safety remains the number one concern. So we look forward to seeing you face-to-face. -face. It's uh, as great as the video experience has been. Um, there's nothing beats seeing someone face-to-face. -face. So we look forward to that day when we can uh, say hello at a safe distance <laughs> uh, and uh, welcome you back to the school uh, building. So with that, I'll say um, continued success with your studies and uh, we'll see you online and in person as soon as possible. Look forward to seeing you. Take care. Bye-bye.